My name is Rachel, and I had a sleeve gastrectomy June 25th, 2012. This is my two-year check-in, which is hard to believe that much time has gone by. And it's been a roller coaster ride, uh, but for the most part, I'm happy I had the surgery, and I would absolutely do it again. Uh, I was checking in with you guys every two months. At the two-month mark from my last video, um, I had gained some weight, and I was beating myself up really hard. So it was easy to put it off. Well, I'll just put it up, off and have a two-year check-in. And um, now that I am at two years, I will check in every four months. That's my, uh, my new time frame for visiting with you all. Um, thank you to all my subscribers, all the new subscribers. Um, I really appreciate it. You know, what you get from me is honesty, no bullshit. I don't sugarcoat things. I don't try to tell white lies to make the process look better or easier. Um, this isn't easy. And if you're a food addict like me, you know that it's not. So, I had gained weight. And... As you know, exercise has always been a super challenge. I was doing really well on my last video. I was exercising three days a week, and I kept that up for a very long time. Um, I was doing treadmill, and it kind of got monotonous. Um, over spring break, I thought, well, I'll just not do it for a week and pick it back up. Big mistake. My exercise did not happen until recently, actually. Um... My lowest weight was 219 pounds, and that was last April. I got up to around 228, 230, and I stayed there a really long time, and I think the exercise was key to maintaining my weight. Um, between March and May, just a few months back, I gained 7 pounds, and um, I attribute that to stress. I do not know how to handle stress well and my old mechanism is eating while I'm stressed so if I'm not super mindful of that and if I don't find something else to do besides eat it's just going to spell doom for me um, if you were doing algebra you'd, you'd probably be stressed too <laughs> I was having a really hard time in school between midterms and finals I just wasn't getting the material um, my letter grades are really important to me and so I was going through a rough patch. Um, I'm crazy, though. I'm still taking math online over the summer. So, currently I weigh 336 pounds. That is up from my last check-in by 8 pounds, I think. Um, I had to stop beating myself up. Because if I'm beating myself up, I'm going to feel bad. And if I feel bad, I'm going to eat more. And I just had to let it go. I couldn't dwell on the, the weight that I had gained. So I had to let it go in order to focus on a new, healthier me. I saw the nutritionist at Healthy Steps Lifestyle Center and last Friday. And it really lit a fire under my butt. I mean, I really needed to hear, stop beating yourself up. Here's what I want you to do. So we're shrinking my stomach a little bit back because I was eating too much food and too many calories. Um, my ideal calorie range is around 1,200 before I was eating up to 1,400. So between 1,000 and 1,200 a day. Um, I've upped my vegetables. I've decreased my fruit. Even though it's better than bread carbohydrates, it's still carbohydrates. And another thing I learned about fruit is um, our metabolism usually slows down in the afternoon. So if I'm going to have my fruit, it's going to be before, you know, 3 or 4 o'clock. Uh, I strive to have 5 ounces of vegetables and 3 ounces of lean protein. Uh, just the other night, I had 3 ounces of boneless, skinless chicken thigh. I had steamed broccoli and carrots, and then I had raw tomato, cucumber, radish with a bunch of fresh basil on it from my garden. Uh, so I strive to keep that format. Another thing is I am now gluten free. Um, which isn't too hard of a switch for me because I 
I never really ate a lot of bread or a lot of pasta. Carbs just really aren't my thing. So I had to say bye to my really super healthy bread, which I like having a piece once in a while. Um, the whole thing behind going gluten-free is that our, our bodies have a hard time processing wheat and rye, and it, it flames our intestinal tract. A lot of people that have irritable bowel syndrome have become gluten-free because it's reduced the inflammation, therefore reducing the pain for them. Um, so far, so good with gluten-free. I have a friend that's a nurse. She said, stay away from anything that's totally packaged that says gluten-free. Uh, they jack up the price because you're reading gluten-free. They see specialty item at the store and they jack up the price. If you know where your gluten is, you can shop a bunch of natural foods without having to purchase gluten. And I'm not saying I didn't get some gluten-free crackers yesterday. But, um, yeah, anything really specifically labeled, just check the prices because they'll jack you up on that. Um, 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 um. Oh, I talked about how I wasn't doing exercise. Now I'm going to tell you that I'm back to exercise. I'm back to aqua aerobics which I totally love. Before was the treadmill. I was only working my lower body. It was monotonous. I love aqua aerobics because it's something different. It's something that I'm doing with both my arms and legs. It is cardio and resistance. Um, and it's a whole hour of exercise. And it's nonstop, you know. Uh, and it's fun to do with 25 other people in a pool, indoor pool. So I'm going back to it because I've seen results from aqua aerobics in the past. Tomorrow, if I get the guts up, <laughs> uh, tomorrow morning I would like to try yoga. Um, I want my exercise to be enjoyable and something I like doing. If it becomes a chore, I'm probably eventually going to stop doing it. So, Water. I'm trying to still increase my water. I'm supposed to be getting 64 ounces a day. I'm getting somewhere between 42, 48, something like that. It's only two-thirds what I'm supposed to drink. So I'm trying to up my water. That's kind of a struggle. Um, 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 um. Also, because I'm slightly anemic, the nutritionist had me start taking my iron tablets. And she convinced me that overall I would just feel better with having enough iron in my system. Besides, I'm female, so what could it hurt? Um, protein, still getting at least 60 grams a day or more. Um, pretty diligent about that. Um, another reason why I gained weight is I kind of slack counting my calories. And Spark People is great, and it's worked for me for many years. But now the options are kind of getting old and the program's kind of freezing up a little and um, I just guess I got bored of the program. So now I'm using something called Lose It, which is fairly popular. If you have a smartphone, there's an app for it. I use it uh, at home. It's quick. It's easy. It tells me about my carbs, my fat, my saturated fat, and my protein. Um, so I like using uh, Lose It. And I am losing it by using lose it. <laughs> um, nutritionist also told me to keep my carbs underneath a uh, um, hundred a day. So I'm trying for that. That's not as easy as I thought. Okay. Like I said, I'm taking iron. This is called easy iron. It's uh, other way. It's iron glyconate, and it's 28 milligrams, so it's easy, meaning easy on your stomach. I take this every morning. Um, Gero probiotics were great, but I was buying them by, you know, a 100-count package, and I think that the efficiency of the probiotics, you know, the quality degraded. So I spent a little more and got 90 tablets of, wrong way, Garden of Eden Primal Defense Ultra, and it's 5 billion units, I don't know what you call that, of probiotics. Don't take them every day. I take them maybe three times a week. And my D3, my old faithful, because I was vitamin D deficient in the beginning, I'm taking one D3 2000 
I use a day. And um, I also just saw my weight loss uh, nurse for my two-year check-in. And she tells me my D is still a little low. Um, the range is between 30 and 100. I'm at 36, so I'm on the low end, but I'm not totally uh, deficient. As far as multivitamins, I kind of slacked on taking them about six months ago. And my reason for that is I felt I was getting all my nutrition through my food. And the nutritionist said, if you want to cut back somewhere, you don't necessarily have to take your multivitamins. Um, and this is just for me at two years out. It's absolutely necessary to take your multivitamins for the first year. I don't want to steer you in the wrong direction. I was using Celebrate multivitamins. It's, it's formulated for bariatric people, and a month's supply is about $20. So short story long, I have my paperwork back. Everything looks good. So apparently, I am getting all my nutrients through my food. I'm going to go ahead and up the D3 amount that I'm taking. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's see what I look like now. Uh, shiny butt pants still. <laughs> uh, I grew out of some of my pants, but I refuse to buy or get any bigger of a size. Um, it's summertime. I'm going short sleeve. You know, I kind of didn't want to show my arms, but I'm like, you know what? It's hot in California, and it's better than showing you my cottage cheese thighs. So, here is Miss Sexy. And where I noticed uh, when I gained some weight back, I've noticed that my double chin kind of came back a little. And right there in the belly, right there in the old apron, got um, a little bigger. So I don't know if I'm rambling on. I don't know how long I've gone. It, it, uh, it's a big check-in for me. Um, thank you very much for um, watching my videos. And, you know, making these videos kind of keeps me in check with myself as well as helping you. Uh, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical profession, but if you have any general questions behind uh, gastric sleeve surgery and what to eat, what supplements, all that kind of stuff, I can tell you what I did so you can shoot me a question. But again, I'm not a doctor, I'm just Rachel. So have a great day or night wherever you are and I'll see you in four months. Bye.